people always ask us what well, who's our biggest competitor and to me the biggest competitor are uh, other agencies hack together solutions it's not necessarily other tools and the issue that comes up is basically build versus buy this slows down companies from making quick faster decisions on something that might not even be core to their business my number one advice versus build versus buy when people are talking about scaling a solution or bringing something to market related to a lot of sites and or a lot of landing pages is one, first off, if you have end users that are the direct beneficiary of these sites and landing pages, survey. Find out, like, do they even want the thing that you're trying to bring to market? And again, I know that's not always 100% accurate and telling, but at least you would just know, is there an engagement on that even question alone to know someone's appetite for sites? Second, test. Before building, before buying, test something. There are a million solutions out there in the license world that will let you test. We totally set up even our agreements to be 30 days so people can get comfortable with the idea of scaling sites, landing pages, whatever, as a pilot before they have to roll out this big thing with a ton of features that never gets rolled out even a year later. I mean, 90% of some, sometimes our leads that we get are companies that said, we're gonna go build it in-house only to find out that they didn't have ongoing support. They didn't weren't still a year later with all the features they're trying to scope out, we're not able uh, to bring it to market in a timely manner and miss the opportunity. Build versus buy. If you can, survey. Two, test on a very small scale, probably with something that you license first. Uh, three, you know, again, if you're buying and or if you're building, the number one of the number one questions probably is, you know, what's the time to market on it? Uh, fourth, ish is like you know ongoing support so if you're going to build something it's not just one and done it's build and then ongoing support nk staff developers whatever it is that you need to keep the product constantly fresh and relevant i mean i think the reason why we're still in business and a reason why um, a lot of companies are struggling today are because they built something in 2000 2005 and we're in 2021 now and they're still operating off of the same tech. Uh, and we've innovated, I think we're on version 7.7 .7 constantly. Anyone who's using our platform is on the latest. And finally, it's like, you know, build versus buy. Is it core to your business? And again, is it core in the sense that you have you want to staff up against it? You want to go to market and lead with that product? Or is it an ancillary product that just makes your product look better? So build versus buy. To me, the world changed in 2007, eight, where it wasn't about building, it was about licensing because one, it's cheaper, faster time to market. There's a staff that gets to uh, support the product that you don't have to worry about because it's not 100% core to the business. So again, I just wanted to put this video out there is build versus buy, you have options, but if I could recommend anything, it's survey. I've been on a million calls where it's like, we're gonna bring websites to market. It's like, do your users even want websites in the first place? You know, and so uh, just want to put that out there to hopefully help somebody. Peace. Have a great day.